welcome back to my channel so in this video I wanted to walk you guys through how to add balloons to your welcome signs so many of you guys have asked me how I do this so in this video I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how I create my balloon garlands all right now make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you guys some more tips all right so let's get started first let me show you the sign that we're going to be using for this tutorial since it's halloween time i am using a halloween themed welcome sign for a birthday party now this sign is 20 inches wide and 30 inches tall and i'm going to be using my wooden easel for this tutorial okay this is actually my favorite stand to use when i'm adding balloons so let's start blowing up balloons i have two 11 inch balloons here so i'm just going to blow them up and then let some air out of them and then tie them together okay and now i'm going to blow up two more 11 inch balloons now these are Simpertex balloons and please make sure you check the description of the video because I will put links in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a quad. So a quad is four balloons that are twisted and tied together. All right, so now I'm going to blow up two more 11 inch balloons. Okay, we're going to form another quad and then you're just gonna tie them together. And then I'm gonna blow up an 11 inch balloon and an 18 inch balloon, okay? So I want this quad to have a bigger balloon in it. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let out some air so I can get a nice round shape and then I'm gonna tie them together. So now we're gonna form another quad just by twisting the balloons together, okay?
right, guys. So now that we're done creating the garland, the initial garland, we are going to use a 260 balloon and attach the balloon garland to our easel, okay, to the stand. So all I'm doing is just wrapping the 260 around the balloon garland and then tying that 260 around the easel, okay? And don't worry, I'm going to zoom in afterwards so that you can see. So I'm going to start off with tying this balloon garland in two places using 260s. Sometimes the balloon garland doesn't stay in place, so I may need to add more 260s. But I'm going to start off with just tying it in two places. And let me zoom in so you can see. guys so this is the last step of the process as you can see I just took the welcome sign off so I can add the rest of my balloons so you're just gonna add your 5 inch and your 11 inch as you can see my balloon garland keeps moving so I'm going to use another 260 and attach it and that works much better as you can see now I'm able to add the rest of my balloons so I'm just adding my final touches. You want to make sure that you start at the top and then work your way down to the bottom and fill it in. And let me show you what it looks like. create my balloon garlands for my welcome signs. Just remember that I do have welcome sign templates available on my website. So make sure you check the description if you're interested in purchasing this welcome sign, okay? All of my Halloween templates are on sale for $5. They're just $5, guys, okay? Now, let me give you a couple of tips, okay? If you guys have any questions, like if I went too fast through this tutorial, just make sure that you leave your questions in the comments. I'm definitely going to make more than one tutorial, okay? So once I see your questions, I can make sure that I address them in another tutorial, okay? But let me give you guys a couple of tips. So 
when you are adding your balloons to your easel, so the stand that holds the welcome sign, you want to make sure that you're using more of a heavy duty stand, okay? If you get a stand that's really lightweight, then you're going to need to add a weight to the bottom of it to keep this stand in place, okay? Because when you're adding your balloons, your stand may tip over. That's the reason why I love using this wooden stand because it's more heavy, it's like a heavier stand and it's easier for me to add my balloon garlands to it, okay? Another tip that I'll give you is that when I'm doing these type of balloon garlands, I don't use 24 inch balloons. So the biggest balloon that I'll use is an 18 inch balloon. And that's just because I don't want there to be too much weight on the stand, right? If you want, you could just use 11 inch and five inch balloons, but I really like to add my 18 inch balloons just to give it some shape, okay? So if you have any questions, please make sure you check the description. I'm gonna put all of the materials and the balloon counts and sizes in there, okay? I'll also put some quick instructions in the description. If you have any other questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in my next video.